My name is Vivian Mildred Corbett Bailey. I'm 97, I'll be 98 next month. Well, I was born actually in Washington, D.C., but I grew up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. When I signed up for the Army, I signed up in 1942, and then I began my, my Army service at Fort Des Moines in late 42, and I was commissioned as an officer in April 43 in the Army. I was the commander of a group of women, and I was the commander of the unit. When they put my picture on the wall, I felt honored to have it up there with people who had served where their lives were in danger. I was never in danger. I was never out of the country even when I was in the Army. And to have my picture with the people who served in situations where they definitely were in, in danger was quite an honor. She's got a beautiful expression on her face in that photo. And I've been looking at that photo for 30 years. You know, she's a first lieutenant, women's army corps, but she's got a beautiful kind and, uh, expression on her face. And that's the same beautiful kind person who you just talked about. I've been privileged to know you know, my Aunt Millie, Vivian Bailey. I've been privileged to know her for almost 32 years. That picture up there shows somebody who volunteered, gave of herself, participated, and after that, with what part of what she learned in the service, she went into the VA and she helped veterans get the kind of care and help that they needed. I worked for Veterans Administration first, and then I moved to Social Security in 52. I ended up in a job as a division director. I had about 1,100 people under my management. My mother, who raised my sister and me as a single parent, was a giving person. She didn't have a lot to give to anybody, but she shared what she had. And that instilled in me the idea of always trying to give back. Vivian Bailey has been all around the world and seen a bit of everything in her 97 years, but this is the place she keeps coming back to, the peaceful bench that was dedicated to her outside the main entrance to Running Brook Elementary School. The thing that I do for the school is raise money for them. And one of the things that I stress and that I make sure is, is funded is field trips and had never gone on a field trip with them. Uh, this year I decided to go with them to the White House. Later that day, the president teamed up with the vice president to surprise Vivian Bailey on her White House tour. I got a beautiful lady, Mr. President. Who I didn't want to keep to myself. She still stays busy during her retirement, raising money for students to take field trips. But this time, it was her turn for a memorable field trip. It's so nice to see you. It's the people's house, and, and I wouldn't be here if it weren't for folks like you. That's my personal favorite because of the personal note on the bottom written by the president. To Vivian, I'm so glad we had a chance to visit Barack Obama. The second president that I've met, and I never expected when I was growing up in Tulsa, I never expected to meet one. The first one I met was Bill Clinton in 09. He and I were speakers among a group of speakers at Duke University. I feel extremely blessed that I've been able to travel and to meet a lot of wonderful people over the years. Walls in the Mission Barbecue, it's history. And we need to remember our history. People paved the way for us. It goes for everybody up there. There are people up there on those walls who would trade their lives for total strangers. It doesn't get any more humble. It doesn't get any more noble. I think it just reminds you how many people serve their country. They're, they're people of all races and all nationalities. And it, it reminds you that this is a wonderful country, and that's evidenced by the fact that we have people who willingly serve. The thing that I would hope people would remember most is that 
There's something that everybody can do. The fact that I have served in many areas and volunteered in many areas over the years, if that would inspire anybody or remind, make anybody conscious of the fact that small volunteerism is important, then I, I would be very proud to have inspired that. <laughs>